Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris Belt with Big Star Axe Horse. What we have here is a Wizard 15,000 pound per hour pecan sorter utilizing Holt Consulting technology. Most of you guys might be familiar with this interface because it utilizes what the inspection masters were using back in the day. The one thing that is more noticeable about this sorter itself is the footprint is shrunk and you can utilize the cleaning plant a little more efficiently with the, 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 the footprint being as small as it is. One thing that I really enjoy about this interface now, as opposed to the inspection master, is just a one touch and go, if you want. So as we come into initial harvest and we're gonna go ahead and run our first crop, the big concern that we're gonna be after is gonna be after your stick tights, sticks, trash, whatever might be inside your hoppers. With that being said, when you come into this user interface, all we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to go to the stick tight eject. Once that's plugged in and ready to go, we would come in and we would turn the vibratory pan on so that we could start sorting the stick tights. After you've finished your first initial run, regardless of if you want to run another batch to do what they would deem as a recovery sort, um, you could come in and you can accept all your stick tights with the touch of this eject button. We would accept the stick tights and that for would be the opportunity to recover all of your number ones and number twos that it might have been ejected due to collateral damage being whether it was a stick that hit it or another stick tight that might have hit a good nut and took it out so you could rerun this batch as a stick tight or a recovery sort um, after that point in time once you guys have been sufficient and happy with the output of your crop we could come in and we can start going through your number ones number twos and your number threes based off of size ejection and that would be utilized right here on your shape. You can go in and do eject large for your number ones. You can come back in, turn the large off, and turn your smalls on to get your number twos and your number threes. And then we go, we already have some nuts loaded in the hopper. If you notice right here, this is gonna be your vibratory pan vibration control. It'd be a simple flip as a switch. At zero to two, you don't hear anything, but as we incrementally increase this potentiometer on the front of the Centron, you will start to the nuts. Here on the left hand side you're going to notice that we've got the accepts and on the right hand side we got the rejects. If you look at the rejects what you notice is you will see some collateral damage based off of when that air nozzle was fired and what it hit on the stick tight. Um, most of the time it's very minimal and like I said right here right now we've got an 87 percent accept rate at the 13 percent eject rate which is which is sufficient and which is good enough. Um, you would like to see anywhere from 10 to 7 percent on your reject pile um, but with that being said that that'll usually come with your mass crop that you are going to end up running up to the 15,000 pounds but with the nuts that we got here we don't have 15,000 pounds of nuts but what we have here is we've got 87 percent good nuts 13 percent bad and this is the result of that okay. one, one thing that i really enjoy about this wizard 15,000 pound per hour sorter is the accessibility to the air valves themselves it's as simple as grabbing this pan We'll slide it out and then you will have access to all 64 valves. If we come around here to the back side, we've got our door here and you can access each and every one of those air valves based off of this. Most of the people have, that have had the inspection master sorters um, know that it's it, it was a struggle um, to replace these air valves. So with a lot of R&D throughout the years, um, one of the things that I think everybody will enjoy the most is when they have an air valve malfunction, um, being able to get in and replace the air valve as simple as this is. As we just discussed uh, earlier, and the simplicity of being able to get to the air valves, one of the things I like to stress to the farmers is whenever you get in every morning to get ready to start on your cleaning, um, it would be to come in and do an air valve check. What we would do is we'd come up here and we'd end up touching our lock button where we've got three different access points. We've got the operator, the supervisor, and the technician level. What we would do is we'd come in under the supervisor level and down here on the bottom left hand side of the screen we've got what they call the test ejectors. We would end up 
hitting the test ejectors. And then we would run a full test. And the reason why we run a full test on all 64 of these air valves is to check and make sure that we've actually got all 64 air valves functioning before you guys get up and ready and, and start cleaning. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just run a, a test of all 64. Okay, so after running the full 64 valve test, if you notice that there is a counter on the test itself, you'll notice a counter. If we get down to, say, valve number 24 and we did not hear any air coming out of that air valve, what we would do is we would come in here and go in here and, and select valve number 24. And what we would end up doing is we would end up doing a rapid fire test just to make sure that that valve is actually functioning. A lot of times what ends up happening is these valves will get stuck and through the rapid fire valve test, this technically and will most likely get that valve unstuck. After that test has been conducted, you would accept and be done here and then you would be off and running with the cleaning side. So there's a couple of cool added features to this wizard sorter. Uh, one of which is this detachable touch screen that's held on there by a magnet. What I like about this is through the times of servicing these sorters and getting up into multiple cleaning plants, having to climb up and down the stairs while you're making adjustments is, is not an easy task. It's not fun because it's continuously up and down. You can actually take this and it's USB-C on both sides of the technology side and as well as the, the touchscreen. Um, you could find a USB-C cable that'll suit your needs as far as the height that you want to mount this on um, to where you can actually keep this down on the base side of your cleaning plant and you can make your adjustments whether you want to be more aggressive or less aggressive whenever you're going through your first uh, sort. Another cool added feature to this guy is if you end up having an issue with your air you'll notice that we've got a red indicator light over here that's going to let you know that you are having air issues. But moreover, while the cleaning plant is running, the amount of noise that's going on through there, you will not hear anything. You will not notice that your air valves or your air is not working. So what's been introduced to this system is an audible sound. At that point in time, you know that you have an air issue and it would be time to shut the plant down and get your air problem taken care of.